Welcome to this session on placing windows. Now before I start placing windows, I'm just going to double check that my floor selector is set to the ground floor and that my icon locks are locked so that anything I place is relative to that floor plane. So I'm going to go ahead and select the window tool. Again, I'll select the catalog item that I want to place. In this case, I'm going to select the example fixed window. Now, just like with the doors, I have my placement point options. One thing about windows is you can place them from the top of the window as well as the sill. So I'm going to actually select the, the top of the window and I'm going to use the, the center point again. I'm going to kind of match what I did on the door here. If you remember, we put that, that offset in, recessed the frame into the brick by two inches or 50 millimeters. So I'm going to do the same with the windows. So we'll put two inches in there, or you can put 50 millimeters. Again, you want to pay attention to your sense distance. So one foot should be fine again. And then we want to define the sill height. Now, actually it's, it's the placement point height. And so what we're really defining is the top of the window. And so I'm going to set that to 10 feet so that it aligns with our door. And we'll scroll down. And so we're going to want to put in a frame width. I'm going to use four feet. And a frame height. And I'm going to use eight foot six. Or 2,500 millimeters. And the width could be 1200 millimeters if you're in metric. Again, I'm going to use the frame depth to match the wall. Check that on. And I'm going to do a frame thickness of two and a half inches. We'll scroll down. I'm going to use W1 as my window type. And again, a lot of other data you could start to fill in, but you certainly don't have to do it initially. You can do it as you add more detail to the model. So again, we've got that uh, window on our cursor and the placement's going to be very similar to the door. I'm going to use AccuDraw though to get it exactly where I want because we're not going to place it in the center this time. We want to be offset a certain distance from the, the column line here. So I'll work in the top view this time might be a little easier to see. So again, I'm going to first select the wall, right? And now you can see I'm just sliding that window along the wall there. And I want to determine the placement point. And what I want is to place it five feet from this column line here. So in other words, my, my first window will be five feet, the center of the window, five feet off the column line. So I'm gonna actually use AccuDraw to do that. So what I'm going to do is, is bring my cursor over to that column line. You could use that intersection there. I'm just going to let it get snapped there. I'm not going to actually data point yet. And then I'm going to type in O. So O is an AccuDraw shortcut key in, and it resets your compass. So notice how my compass moved from the end point of the wall to wherever my cursor was snapped. Now I can move relative to where my compass is. So now I want to go five feet from that point. So I'm just going to, again, drag it along that X axis, type in five and then left click to accept that. Now, I still have to place one more point and essentially you, you can kind of see how as I move one side or the other to the wall, it's changing where that window is placed and it's based on determining what's the front or what's the exterior of the building. And so you want to select a data point on the exterior side of the building. So we're just going to data point out here and that places the window. And again, I have another window on my cursor and I could keep placing them, but I'm gonna right click and reset because we could also copy a window once it's placed. And that might be an easier way to start to, to add a number of windows here. So we've got one window placed. We can see it's recessed that two inches in the wall and it's perforated the wall. What we want to do now is copy this window four more times at that five foot spacing or 1500 millimeters. 
So in order to do that, I'm just going to hover my cursor over the window till it highlights and then write press. So when I write press, I get a context sensitive menu. In other words, it brings up tools that would be appropriate for that object, such as modify window. But we also have copy, move, rotate, mirror. So we're gonna select the copy tool. Notice there's a little dialogue that will come up and I can actually determine how many copies I want. So rather than just one copy, I'm gonna type in four copies there. And then you may just want to check your prompts down here. So it says enter the first point. So this point can really be anywhere in space. We're just kind of determining a start point that we're gonna work off of. So I'm just going to click a point down here. And then I know that I want to copy in my X direction. So I want to make sure I'm on that X axis and I want to go five feet. So I'm just going to type in five and then left click to accept that. And you see what it did there. It made those four copies at five foot intervals. And then I could even take that a little further and you know use my selection tool and select all five of those windows. See how they highlight. And then perhaps I could mirror copy those. So this time again, I right press and I'm selecting mirror. And I could do horizontal, vertical, or I could just set this to line and I'll draw a line. And we want to make sure we make a copy. Then I'm going to use my, my door there as the, the center point. You can see I just draw that vertical line as my mirror line left click to accept, and now I've got more windows. And then I might just mirror again about the column line and mirror again. And we could even mirror around the corner here. And you can see how we could very quickly work our way around the building and have all the windows put in there. I'm going to go ahead and stop at this point. Now in the next session, we'll actually place some curtain wall. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.